dear students i hope you all are well and safe at home i am here again with a new chapter of term 2 this that chapter is reproduction in animal that is the ninth chapter and you have to do in the biocopy a student we will study what is first what is reproduction the process by which living beings give birth to the young ones of their own kind to maintain and continuity their species that is called reproduction here i use one word species what is the meaning of species the same kind of animals same kind of organism same kind of living organism which can reproduce and give the birth of young one that are called a species here a species means just say for example dog where the dog reproduce they give the birth of the dog when human reproduce they give the birth of the baby when the plant reproduce they give the birth of the plant here we will study in this class we will study the mode of reproduction here there are two type of reproduction first is the sexual reproduction second is the asexual reproduction what is the meaning of sexual reproduction the reproduction in which the female gamete and male gamete takes part that is called sexual reproduction and the reproduction which occur without the help of the male gamete and female gamete that is called asexual reproduction sexual reproduction is found generally the high developed animals and asexual reproduction is found generally the lower grade of the animal now here is then for reproduction there are many organs takes part these all organs make a reproductive system in this way the human body male male body has a male reproductive system and female body has a female reproductive system male reproductive system takes ya consist these organs a pair of testis a pair of scrotum vas deferens and penis similarly the female reproductive system contains following organs ovaries oviduct uterus and vagina fertilization and implantation we will study in this topic what is the meaning of fertilization a student fusion of male gamete and female gamete is called fertilization after fertilization a special cell is formed that is called zygote and when the zygote divide it forms the embryo and when the embryo attach with the female body that is called implantation a student you know that any a student in human beings the reproductive organ is the testis and female body the reproductive organ is ovary testis releases million of sperm in one time but ovary releases one ovum in one time when the sperm combine or join or fuse with the ovum that is called fertilization after fertilization a zygote is formed this process is called fertilization now zygote divide many times and form embryo now embryo comes down and fuse with uterus with a special type of structure that is called placenta here embryo grows after 8 week embryo develops body parts such as legs hands head eyes ear and etc the stage of the embryo in which 
the all body parts can be identified is called a fetus when the fetus developed completely the mother give the birth to the baby after 9 month that you can see your book that is figure number 9.4 a b c and d a student before this topic i want to tell you there are two type of fertilization that is the external and internal fertilization the external fertilization when the fusion of male gamete and female gamete takes place outside the female body that is called external fertilization and when the fusion of male gamete and female gamete takes place inside the female body that is called internal fertilization in human beings generally normally internal fertilization takes place but in a special condition we can reproduce with the help of external fertilization now here according to the give birth of the young one we can divide the sexual we can divide the animals into two parts two types that is called viviparous and oviparous viviparous those animal which give birth to young ones are called viviparous for example we dog cat elephant horse whale and many many animals in viviparous young ones develop in the uterus inside the female body here after viviparous i am going to tell you about the oviparous those animal which lay eggs from which young ones are hatched later on are called oviparous in oviparous animals the mother lays egg outside the body and young one develop inside the egg and after development they come out from the eggs for example fish reptiles and all type of birds a student here we will study the special type of process that is called metamorphosis a student you know that in human beings after the birth of the baby and after some month some year the size of the organ that is change they develop but in some animal when they give the birth they give the egg and when the when they get the adult body in between this period there are different different type of structure that is comes out that process is called metamorphosis and generally we see metaphor metamorphosis in the frog insect here you know that the frog frog what happen in the frog frog after you know that in frog there is a external fertilization takes place after a external fertilization frog lays eggs in water after that the egg change into early tadpole and after early tadpole they convert in the later late tadpole this tadpole contains that is the appear fish like a structure and they have the tail but after some time the tail detach from the body and the late tadpole convert into an adult frog so here the total there we can see that different different type of a structure and then they get the adult frog but this type of a structure we do not see in the human beings we have now student we will study reproduction asexual reproduction asexual reproduction mean the reproduction which takes place without the help of the sex it means here the male reproductive unit and female reproductive unit do not take part the reproduction that takes 
placed by the other way. So this type of reproduction we called asexual reproduction. In this chapter or in this topic you will study the asexual reproduction that is takes place first the binary fission method and second the budding method. Here binary fission in this this type of reproduction takes place in many animals many small many unicellular animals but here we will study about the amoeba a student you know that the amoeba is an animal unicellular animal the binary amoeba reproduce by the binary fusion this binary fusion takes place by two method two stage first first binary fusion in the binary fusion nucleus divide and after the nucleus the whole cytoplasm that is divide then the division of nucleus that is called karyokinesis and when the nucleus divide into two daughter nucleus after that the all cytoplasm of the amoeba divide into two parts each cytoplasm contains one daughter nucleus the division of cytoplasm that is called cytokinesis the all binary fusion that is takes place in two stages first is the karyokinesis and second is the cytokinesis by this method they continue their species in this world second type of binary fusion we will study second type of the asexual reproduction we will study in the hydra that is called body a student you know that hydra is first multicellular animal in hydra a bird like a structure that is in the in the, in the figure you are seeing that a small bird like a structure develop after some time this bird like a structure develop into the hydra at this hydra later detach from the parents hydra and live the life in this type of reproduction that is called body cloning now we will study the cloning cloning is a method of reproduction by the asexual method the cloning is a now student we will study the cloning cloning is the asexual method of reproduction cloning cloning is a technique of reproducing an exact copy of a cell any other living part or a whole organism perhaps the most famous example of cloning is a sheep named dolly 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 was cloned by dr ian will met and his colleagues at the rosin institute of eden work at scotland a student is surprised that cloning is a new for the world but this technique is very old for our country you know that the lord ganesha and the son of the ramchandra push were born with the help of cloning now we are coming to study why cloning takes place in the sheep that is dolly first this process scientist took two a female sheep here beta in reproduction you know that male and female body we need male and female reproductive unit we need but in this type of cloning we do not need the two type of sex we do not need the two type of sex body here only one type of sex that is female sheep are taking this process two type of female sheep that are taking first fin dorset sheep and a scottish black face even process number 2 we take one cell from memory gland of fin dorset sheep and one unfertilized egg from the scottish black face even here 
we take two type of cell from the same female seed now we remove the nucleus of egg cell of a scottish black face ev we remove the nucleus of memory cell and introduce the introduce this nucleus to unfertilized egg but here we take we remove the nucleus from the both cell first you know that we remove the nucleus from the both cell after that the unfertilized egg cytoplasm comes from a scottish black face ev but nucleus comes from fin dorset seed now we place the egg cell in the uterus of the scottish black face ev after time a scottish black face ev gives the birth of seed this seed is 100% carbon copy of fin dorset seed a scottish black face seed but the young seed was 100% genetically same of same to fin dorset sheep the sheep got the birth without sexual reproduction no young one is 100% genetically same to the parents but dolly was 100% genetically same to the one female sheep the birth of dolly that is that proves that the young one can get the birth without sexual reproduction beta you have studied this chapter the reproduction by the sexual method and by the asexual method and also you know that the reproduction by cloning method i hope you understand now you read the chapter very carefully and when the any doubt you feel you can ask me thank you